All right, time to pull on these crazy fifth anniversary pulling type banners. We got a lot of free stuff. There's select 120 free. I'm gonna do this last because what I want to do is I'm gonna do the the 10 URs guaranteed free 100 times summon first. Because if I get one of the things that I would have selected, I just want to be able to collect as much stuff as possible. So then I'll just select something different instead. The main goal out of all these pulls for me is to just get new stuff. And I'm guaranteed to get new stuff no matter what because of that select banner up there. But hopefully I can get at least one or two new things out of uh, some of these other free pulls that we have as well. Also, there's Final Fantasy Tactics free pull. Final Fantasy Tactics is out. I also have a 300 paid ticket for Garusa. I'm actually going to do this first, I think. Yeah, let's do this first, because this isn't really part of the festivities. This is just its own thing. So let's uh, let's get this out of the way. Hopefully it's all blues. I'm just kidding. Please don't be all blues. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get into the big free stuff. I just want a new thing out of, you know, all that stuff. If not, at least we know I'm guaranteed to get something new out of that 120 pull. This is crazy because I wasn't expecting any of... Okay, nothing good there. I wasn't expecting any of these 5th anniversary pulls to come out today. Like, uh, I thought we were going to have to wait until the Final Fantasy X-2 time frame. Or at least closer to it. I didn't know we were getting all this stuff today. It's crazy. Uh, let's do the regular free pull now. And then I'll do the tactics free pull. I don't need anything from Tactics, so I probably won't get anything new from there. Also, I did check the um, the 100 pull. Now, in the selection banner, you can't pick the new Sodaly or Exia. However, in the 100 pull, Sodaly and Exia are both in there. So it is possible to get them out of that if you don't have them. So, you know, that's a thing. I didn't look in the rates in the Final Fantasy Tactics banner, though. Ooh, I need a lot of cards. I'm missing a lot of cards. That's not one of them, though. Um, but yeah, I didn't actually look in the drop rates of the Final Fantasy Tactics banner, so I'm going to actually do that right now, because I'm curious if Sodaly and or Exia are even in here. They probably are. If they're in the other one, then I'm sure they're in here, but let's see. Um, Sodaly is in there. And I know... Oh yeah, and Exia is in there. So you could possibly get Sodaly and Exia. Of course, you can get the Tactics units in here too, right? And we're at this free pull, 10 times max 300 summons. So that's like a full month. A full month of free Final Fantasy Tactics pulls. Now, I, like I said, I already have all these things. But, you know, you get dupes. That's Mind Spheres. Wait a minute. Is Are there Mind Spheres? I should have read that. I didn't even read what that was. Is this Mind Spheres? I don't know what this is. But I'm about to find out. I definitely should have read that. All right, so yeah, there's Mind Spheres in. I mean, that's Mind Spheres for me. If you're building Ramza, or if you're building uh, whoever, you can probably get any of them in that pull. Then boom, great. That is pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna. This is the big one. This is the main pull. Obviously, the selection pull is the super main pull, but this is where I want to see new stuff. I hope to see at least one new thing out of these 100 pulls. I don't know if it's going to be all the 10 URs at the top, and then anything else after that is just luck, but we're about to find out. Okay, yeah, this is all URs. Oh my god, it's a lot of cards, too. Uh, actually, it's about 5 and 5. So, that's not new. That's definitely not new. Nope, <laughs> even less not new. Not new. These are all old. Not new. Year 1. Not new. Ugh. Okay. Well, at least we have that, uh, what do you call it? Well, there's Joom. I still not new, though. At least we have the selection thing, because this is not new. Not new. Dang it, man! Never lucky. You know what? At least there's the freaking selection thing. That was awful. Oh, that was new! All right, I just got Ramada's card. Hell yeah. I clicked so fast not expecting that, and it was new. I think that was Ramada's card. I'm going to have to look again at the end. But Ramada is going to be one of my choices to select. So that actually goes perfectly if uh, if that was that card. I guess I'm lucky after all. I'm short a lot of vision cards. Like, I'm missing a ton of vision cards. Not just the recent ones from the past couple of months. 
I've been skipping vision cards that are not limited for a long time now. Oh, another one? Not that one's not new though. Actually, Faded Confrontation would have been one that I skipped, but they gave us that one for free. Everybody got that one if you were playing at the time when it came out. But that game, uh, that card came out in 2024. So that's a pretty recent-ish card in the grand scheme of things. It's weird doing this because the rainbows just show up in the middle of it, not at the end. So we're used to seeing the rainbows in the top spot. Look, here's a here's a rainbow in this. And it's a card again. See, it's not even in the top spot either. It's weird, right? But let's see. I There's no way this one's going to be something new. Nah, that's one of the earlier cards. That was a year one card. Also, I haven't been counting how many things have gone by, so I actually just legit have no idea uh, what whole number these are. Oh, not new. Oh, dude, this is a, that that also came out this year, but I I have that already. It's crazy because out of all the non-limited vision cards that came out this year, I only have like three of them, maybe four total. And two of them I just pulled in this pull right here. That's just unlucky. There's so many cards that came out this year that I don't have. The other one I have, I think, was Oldoa's card. I think I have... Uh... The one that came out with Strategis Oldo. Okay, this could be a new... Not even close. <laughs> Year one. Before the first anniversary. Luartha came out a couple... Uh... Oh, here we go. Another five star, though. Two. Okay. Come on, baby. Dang. Old. Come on, card. Show me a potato. New card. Dude, what is with this game and giving me Luartha right now? They really have a thing for Luartha, I guess. What's funny is uh, Pursuer, that card that I just got, was one of those super old cards that I... Um, yeah, so that was new Ramada's card. Awesome. So I got one new thing out of that. That's good, honestly, because there's so much stuff in the pool. I'm just really happy that I got something new, and especially a vision card, because I'm missing a ton of vision cards. So it'll be nice to have a vision card to work on and build a little bit, you know. I think you can use stars on them now, even though it's a higher cost than it used to be. Um, but also the uh, the vision card hard quest, because it's not a limited card. Wow, this is a lot of stuff too. A lot of uh, coins and stuff. But yeah, it's not a limited card, so I can do the hard quest there. And not only that, but that gets me first clear biz. All right, and I guess this is it, because I got nothing new out of that last thing. The last thing we have left to do here is this. And I think I've made my mind up. Um, I have... I'm missing these four, basically. Now, I don't have Exia or Sodaly either. I believe I'm definitely picking Shereka 100%. Um, then I'm going to go with Luciel Ovis. I think the one I'm going to skip is Lotus Mage Fina, and I think Lotus Mage Fina is a fine, great unit, and I do still hope to get her some other time. But uh, the reason I want Luciel and Ramada is just for more lightning shenanigan options, maybe to use alongside Orlando or something like that. Um, and then Shereka, I think, is just amazing, and she I haven't got her yet. Now, I think Lotus Mage Fina is also really sick, and I wouldn't mind having her. Especially maybe like use her with Ramza or something, but I probably won't use Ramza too much. I think I'm going to be using the other characters more. And even then, I don't even know if I'll use any of these units with them. But I'm going with these. I already have Gilgamesh. I think Gilgamesh would be a top pick for this as well if you don't have Gilgamesh. But I'm picking these because these are the ones that I don't have. So these are the only four I'm missing. And those are the four. I mean, the, yeah, those are the only four I'm missing, so those are the three I'm picking. Now, this is still a 10 pull, though, too, right? So I could potentially get, like, another rainbow in there. Or two, or three, or four, or five, or six, or seven, or eight, or nine? No. All right, those are probably the three guarantees. Maybe? No, the top one's going to be one of them, right? So I think I actually am getting another rainbow in here. 
You know what would be funny is if Exia or Sodaly were in the pool of pulls for this, they just weren't on the selection part of it. Alright, let's see. This is probably not one of the guarantees. These top three are probably the three guaranteed, so this is going to be something else. Farm. <laughs> yep. Alright. GG, farm. We're going to get three walkout animations right now. That flag is nice. I've never seen that flag before. I guess it's it's a Shereka only thing, and since I have never had Shereka before, never seen the flag. Boom. Next. Ovis, Luciel. Very nice. And finally, last but not least, we have... King Mon! No, I'm just kidding. This is Ramada. Ramada. Awesome. And now I didn't have to pity any of these. I didn't have to pay paid for any of these. I didn't have to do anything for any of these except for wait. So, you know, I bet you there's some people out there. This isn't a knock on anyone either. This is just something to think about if you are like a hardcore player. There's probably a few people out there that pitied potentially all three of these units but never really even ended up using them in their guild battles or in their daily shenanigans. So it's like, maybe just be a little patient and eventually you'll be able to get them somehow, right? That's what I did. I don't know. Maybe, uh, I didn't know we were going to get this pull though, so I did luck out. Because otherwise it could have been who knows how long before I got these units. It could have taken years. Uh, oh, and because I had all those characters already, why is it exactly 198 of each? Eld Shereka unit shards, 198. Converted into Soul Metal, you are 198. And oh no, this is just for Shereka, 198. Uh, for Luciel, I'm getting 270. Ooh, nice. And then for... For Ramada, I'm just getting Held Ramada, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I, I feel like I got some for Ramada too. It just had maybe a scuff notice. Now I want to show you guys one more thing real quick. Um, just in case. Now there's a ton of pulls available for Final Fantasy Tactics. Again, I have all the Tactics stuff, so I'm not going for it. I already have it, so I'm going to be taking advantage of all the buffs and bonuses that Tactics events, uh, sorry, Tactics units are going to be getting. But this other one thing I wanted to show was brought to my attention is the purchase bonus. If you do this purchase bonus every day for seven days, and you can do just like a 99 cent thing, you don't have to spend like 20 bucks a day or anything like that. Day seven is this. 10 times summon, you are guaranteed five of them. So that's essentially 50 pulls with five, I think five guaranteed URs in there. They're not full like 10 rainbows, but it's still 50 pulls. Um, and five of them are guaranteed to be rainbows. So that's something to think about. If you're watching this on like whatever day, hopefully you still have time to get that. Anyways, yeah. Hi Orlando, and goodbye.